I wanted to have a look why the rear drum on my left side was leaking on the G. So I started by taking the alloy off, then using the impact screwdriver to get the drum screw off. Um, you can't get that off with a screwdriver and have a spare one because it may deform after you successfully get it off. Um, it's a little bit of a nuisance that screw, but you need that impact screwdriver. So the casing comes off with just one screw, uh, needs a bit of a wiggle or sometimes a screwdriver. And off it comes on our 37 year old G-Wagon. Um, you can see the drum shoes on the outside uh, with the two springs that pull them in. So here I'm pushing the pedal and you can see the left side of the cylinder activates and that would push out against the drum, um, but the right wasn't working, but it was leaking. So to get those springs off is a nuisance. There is probably a proper tool, but with a pair of pliers and just covering it up in case it flies off into the Neverland. Uh, you just want to protect it. You can see how the screws, the springs, I'm sorry, sort of fit into the casing and then they get attached up the top there and that returns the brake shoes back to their position when the pedal's not down. So to get the leaking cylinder out, um, you need to underdo the three things. You've got two 10 millimeter bolts there holding it on, which come out pretty easily. You can see the bleeder valve is at the top make sure the bleeder valve is put back at the top when you take it in and out and there's the brake line below it so the two tens come out you've got a seven millimeter wrench for the bleeder valve and an 11 millimeter for the brake line I'll just add that not all of these brake cylinders are the same and I had two with actually different length bleeder valves. So just pay attention um, when you're trying to put the, a new part in. So taking off the brake line with the 11 and you will need to bleed the brakes again after you do this obviously. Um, you note my beloved jumpsuit I bought at a classic car show in Ulm in Germany. Excuse my bastardization of the town name. Uh, but uh, some guy was selling old factory jumpsuits, which I had to have. So the shoes are released afterwards. The cylinder comes out. I couldn't get the cylinder out with the bleeder valve on, which is why all the stuff comes off. Um, this is an edit after I've learned the hard way. So here's the cylinder with the two push rods just pushing against the cylinders underneath the boots. Um, they're not physically attached. Here's another one. This was off a wreck I had from a few years ago. You can see disassembled the seized pistons in this case. Um, and you can get repair kits to rebuild them or you can just buy the whole thing again. It's actually a very basic setup, which um, as a non-mechanical guy, I didn't realize actually it's kind of simplistic. So the part number you saw is for my car, uh, but just check if that's the right one for your ATE brakes. <laughs>